everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID Television News Brief. Uh, on this Monday, dozens of Kim and Brack residents participated in Sunday's annual DG 5K Challenge. We're back in Kim and Brack for the DG's 5K Challenge 2023. It's so... Um, special to be in, in Cayman Brock. We had a great turnout this morning uh, for the DG's 5K. Uh, we started off right on time at 6.30 and we are here to support some really wonderful charities, the Anti-Bullying Foundation, Loud Silent Voices and the Red Cross. So I am very, very happy to see so many people coming out here, giving back to their community, supporting some very wonderful charities and more importantly, getting their heart rate up and taking care of their body by, get, by having a nice run walk this morning. Mr. Manderson handed out medals to those who placed first in their age category. We invite you to mark your calendars as the DG's 5K makes its way back here on Grand Cayman next on April the 30th, followed by Little Cayman on May the 28th. Well, we continue our coverage of the RCIPS's latest crime and traffic statistical report. Recently, Commissioner of Police Mr. Derek Byrne announced the number of fatalities caused mostly by speeding on our roads in 2022, something that has authorities concerned. When asked by one member of the media about some possible solutions to the problem of speeding on local roads, Commissioner Byrne had this to say. We're looking at it as part of a national road safety strategy. So we're working with our government partners and there's a lot of work has been done on it in terms of the speed cameras. It's not a case of just directing cameras and the problem is solved. It's a huge um, ICT project and the benefits would be immense and it's work in progress. As we continue to bring you details from the 2022 Crime and Traffic Report, we note uh, that there have uh, been reductions in uh, violence against the person, sexual offenses, drugs and public order offenses in 2022 compared to the previous year of 2021. We invite you to join us tomorrow as we take a look at our overall crime stats from 2022 throughout this week. The Cayman National Cultural Foundation held its Red Sky at Night event this weekend. Thousands of residents and visitors attended the nine-hour event where Caymanian culture was prominently featured on the grounds of the Harkville Theater. The multidisciplinary arts festival highlights the talent of local musicians and performers across four stages and it showcased the work of dozens of fine artists, artisans, and traditional food vendors. Returning to Red Sky at night this year was the Parade of Nations led by the Cayman Islands contingent. It included Honduras, the Philippines, and Jamaica, showcasing authentic costumes and dances as well. Now, the Creative Kids Zone and Caymanian Village were popular places to be. Produced by CNCF, the popular festival is the anchor event for KFES which includes Dress for Culture Day, the National Arts and Culture Awards, and the Folk Singers Anniversary Concert that's going to be held later in May. Now, the event is made possible by generous sponsors, including the Ministry of Culture and Heritage. Let's have a look now at what we can expect weather-wise tonight. There is a 30% chance of rainfall. For you boaters out there, seas will be smooth with wave heights of less than two feet. We will have similar weather conditions through to Wednesday morning. Over the next few days, we can expect light winds and smooth seas across the Cayman Islands area. Now remember, you can get more details on our local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky or check out the Weather Services Facebook page. That's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Bye-bye, everyone.